Well, here's the thing uh, that came up in the research. You're doing these house shows, Kurt, but you're also taking bumps. What the <laughs> hell are you doing, man? I'm freaking crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, you think? I, I, I would take bumps just to test myself. Come to on, make sure man. that I wasn't uh, getting too rusty. So uh, now Vince McMahon, if he knew this, and I don't know if he's going to find out now. Oh, he listens. I'm sure he's a good, proud listener of the Kurt Angle show. <laughs> but uh, he would have known he would have killed me. But I, I was doing it because I wanted to be part of the show. Kurt, uh, if I would have known you back then, I would have busted your ball so hard for that. Oh, God. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. You live and learn, right, man? You live and learn. I was an idiot. Yeah, you, you set up a tournament to determine Eddie's first challenger by having the Kurt Angle Great American Tournament. Who came up with that name? The Great American Tournament? The writers. Yeah, we'll blame <laughs> it them. It wasn't me, a Great American Tournament. Uh, I would have did the American Hero Tournament. The great, Yeah, the Great American Hero Tournament. There you go. Uh, but the goal was ultimately to get back to you and Eddie, was it not? Because that's eventually what ha would happen at SummerSlam that yes, year. Yes, well, well, Eddie and I were supposed to have a long program. We were going to yeah. beat each other back and forth uh, after WrestleMania. There was, it was going to be a long program all the way up to Summer Slam, perhaps afterward. But unfortunately, I got injured, and they had to put that on hold. So they decided to have this tournament uh, to, to Eddie, the, you know, to, to face uh, the winner faces Eddie. And yeah. then eventually, I would wrestle Eddie. Yeah. Well, uh, on the show, Kurt, JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield gets his new gimmick. What did you think of this uh, transition here for Bradshaw to this new JBL you know role? I, I was utterly surprised at how well he did with this guy. I know. He was so comfortable with it. And, I, I mean, he was a bully. And Bradshaw is a little bit of a bully. I mean, he likes to mess with the it's, town. It's, it's well documented. But <laughs> he's a great guy, but, you know, he, he likes to rip on people. And this was a great character for him because this is right up his alley and he was so good at it i mean he was the best heel in the business at this time he can talk and he can talk and he can talk and he's a brawler i mean yeah yeah a southern he, he, a he, southern he, boy he had that jr character yeah jr ewing the rich man with the the, the talking the shit and smacking the shit out of people it just all went together so well for him you know? It was him. <laughs> it was. It was him to a T. And they always say you're the best character in wrestling is just you turned up, uh, you know, turned up a notch. 